Hey guys, it is Friday, and um, I am back here because I just watched a video um, from my friend Khalif. I don't know why I said friend like that, but I did. Um, anyway, I just watched a video um, that he made, and this is in response to the video that he made <laughs> earlier um and the video was entitled 350 pound woman can't lose weight unless she gets more welfare and i believe she is from the uk um something like that anyway i did i did see it on facebook i read the article and everything else um and i just wanted to give my thoughts on it being an obese, uh, at one time super morbidly obese, and, um, yeah, I just want to say, first of all, I've gone through a lot of, um, a lot of working on myself, so I feel like, um, I used to make a lot of excuses. On whose fault it was that I gained and I weighed 560 pounds. So, um, anyway, first of all, let me just say. Um, this woman, or anybody, as a matter of fact, um, who says, well, I can't afford to buy healthier food, but I can't afford to buy junk food. Um, okay. Now, going there, um... I know that I can go into the store and I can buy a bag of chicken um, for, I don't know, I live in Oregon, so maybe it's different other places, but, you know, a bag of chips is like, a big bag of chips would be like, I don't know, $3, three something, three, four dollars. Well, I could get a package of, of meat, whether it be chicken or, I don't know, whatever else. For that same price. So I could make a few meals out of a bag of chicken. Um, you yeah, know, maybe I might have to pay a few more dollars. But anyway, I think that when people say they can't afford to, make, to, to buy healthy food, they can't. It's because they don't want to, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, we can't buy the really expensive... Um, stuff, but I'm sorry, but there are ways that you can budget, that you can use, that you can buy the healthier stuff, and that's what I'm doing. I am on government assistance, yes I am, and I know that I've, you know, told this, told that, whatever, but I am, and, um, you know, we, we have to stop blaming everybody else but ourselves for being obese. We just do. Um, you know, you can't expect the government to pay you to lose weight. Like, it's not going to happen, you know. And why should you get more money because um, you think you you deserve more, more money, more benefits, because so that you can eat healthier? Um, yeah. And like she said, she couldn't swim. She couldn't go swimming or go, you know somewhere pay to exercise work out because that was taking away money from her Chinese and her pizza well don't have those things don't have don't eat pizza you don't you you can live without pizza you can live without Chinese food um, I just think it's ridiculous you know am I perfect no I'm not saying I'm perfect I'm not saying you know we all know I had to have weight loss surgery to fix to, to give me that tool, not fix, but give me that tool so I could lose weight, you know? Um, but I just think, you know, that people need to step up and realize that what you put in your mouth, it's on you, not on somebody else, you know? We all have choices, and we have to make those choices. And um, we make choices every day, you know? I made a choice to get up this morning. I made a choice you know, to drink my water today. I made a choice to go to OA today. I made a choice to, you know, do everything that I'm doing today. Um, I make a choice what I have for dinner. You know, it's all about choices. 
And you can't say, well, I'm eating this or I'm eating that because of this person or this happened to me or that happened to me. I was abused. I was treat mistreated. I was this. I was that. But you know what? I've stopped making excuses. So when are we, as a society, going to stop making excuses and quit blaming the fast food chains or McDonald's or, you know, whatever else because we're fat? When are we? You know, you can look up recipes. You can look up a lot of stuff online now. I have. I've done it. Um, you know, I just, I just think it's ridiculous. I don't know who this woman is, and I don't know why she thinks it's okay. You know, don't buy the cookies. Don't buy the chips. Don't buy the candy. Just don't do it. It's, it's simple. But, yeah. And and I and I'm saying this because I've been through it, you know, I've been through it and I didn't think it was as simple as it is, but it really is. It really is. So I think we need to step up for ourselves, not for anyone else. And I'm not judging anybody, believe me. I am not I'm the last person that needs to be judging anyone. I'm just saying that we need to start taking responsibilities for ourselves, our actions and our lives. That that's all there is to it. We have to. You know, go buy a candy bar or go buy an apple. I mean, what's it going to be? So anyway, I'm, you know, I just thought I'd weigh in on that and just kind of, you know, I, I just, I think it's, it's bullshit. Honestly, it's bullshit. If you, if you want it, if you want, you know, if you want to work, you don't. You don't need a membership, a gym membership. It's nice, believe me, it is nice to have a gym membership. But I go walking. Walking is free. <laughs> walking is free. You know? I mean, I do go swimming sometimes when I can afford it. Um, but I go walking. I, you know, I'm learning about myself. And that doesn't cost anything. So... Um, I'm going to OA. That doesn't cost. Um, I'm learning about myself, about my eating habits. And honestly, I've been doing a lot better with my eating. It's OA has made a world of difference for me. So that's that that's my thoughts. I know I've rambled and rambled and rambled. I just, you know, I just of course had to give my my part of it, you know, maybe some of it, they're exaggerating, maybe they're not, I don't know, I'm not there, but I do have to say, in, you know, in general, that whether you're big or not, you know, obese or not, we still have to take responsibility for the things that we do and our actions, and when we do wrong, we have to make it right, you know, um, it's all about choices and I just get tired of people saying that they don't have a choice you do have a choice you always have a choice and that's real that is real talk <laughs> that's not you know and and I'm not afraid to say how I feel and and that is real um, we just have to stop making excuses so anyway um, you know if you don't like what I said I'm sorry but it's how I feel. So, um, and, you know, we all hit that rock bottom. We all have to figure out where we're going to go from here. And um, I'm definitely moving on up. So, anyway, leave me comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And it's okay if you don't agree with me. Um, it's okay. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, um, yeah. So, um, also leave below... If there's a topic you want me to talk about, maybe we'll do a real talk, uh, um, I would say episode, a real talk, uh, you know, I'll make it a weekly thing. I don't know. So anyway, guys, I hope that I didn't bore you too much and, um, yeah, so I will talk to you later. Bye.